Yo, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to Azumi Devtober Day 13. And uh, we're going to talk about the game and what has happened today. Uh, stuff has happened today. A little bit. A little bit has happened today. Uh, let's just let's just jump right into it, because fuck it. Because I'm also going to go over the general schedule of what's left to do in the game before November 8th, uh, which is a lot. <laughs> so we can uh, jump back in here to the event sheet. Nothing much has changed here. Um, if we go into the layout and we look at the slime guy, I finished the death animation. Let me zoom out so you can actually see the frame. It's not that much. That's fine. Kind of... He just splats. All nice and yucky-like. So, pretty satisfying animation. Not the best. I'm not exactly a fantastic animator, but you know, I'm doing what I can given my constraints. Uh, so let's start this. It should already start. Actually, you can see it in action. Maybe project. Uh, so basically, all the logic for the enemy that was a test square. I was testing for something else that I'll talk about in a second. All of the uh, the enemy logic pretty much works as intended now. So you can see he toggles between those two two states of up and down. So you get that little slithery movement like you're supposed to. Uh, dodge right through him if I need to. And then I have all the hits working now. So three hit combo, pfft, he explodes. The only thing you can see, he clips through the floor. And that's what this square was about. I'm trying to figure out why, because right now this has a platform behavior on it, just like the enemies. But I've disabled the platform and I've disabled collisions. And so you can pass right through it and it just kind of sits there and does nothing. The same thing is applied to that slime but he clips through the floor because he's still being affected by gravity. He's being pulled downward through the platform when conditions, collisions are disabled. So I don't know why that's happening. It shouldn't be. Uh, like I was saying to Digi today, uh, I want to get a t-shirt that just says it should be working, but it's not because that's literally my entire life. Is every, every problem I ever encounter is just, well, it should be working, but it's not. That's game dev, that's IT, that's art, that's, that's everything. It should be working, but it's not, is, is my life. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> I, I, uh, the, 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 the not working life chose me. Um, so that's where we're at with that. That's pretty much all I did today. It was a lot of work. Um, but that does bring me pretty nicely into my quickly laid out plan for the rest of the month. So tomorrow, or no, today, today was the 13th and I wanted the player features locked in. There were a couple more features I wanted to add to Izumi's move sets. Uh, like a double jump, and like a jump attack, and a run attack, and uh, unless those completely cripple the game, once I start getting further in development, I won't be adding them to the vertical slice, because uh, I'm afraid of feature creep at this point, especially when I only have a few weeks left to get this demo slash vertical slice ready to go. Uh, she plays pretty well as is. I will adjust her controls in terms of bug fixing. There's still probably a few bugs here and there. They're going to be ironed out. I'm sure more will pop up as the game progresses. Um, so like the final full version of the game that comes out like 10 million years from now with actual levels and stuff like that, uh, there will be more more robust stuff Azumi can do. But for this small project to kind of just get my name out there and be like, hey, I'm making games and like see if people are interested and all that kind of junk this is going to be pretty much where we stop because i just i don't have more time to sink into into izumi as a character and what she can do so she's pretty fun as is i think i'm going to keep just unlimited shurikens because they're so slow i'm not going to have a pickup mechanic for that like they're good um but this this is it this is how it's going to be that's her movement that's her mechanics for now uh, for this initial release that i'm going to have uh, by this time next week, next Saturday on the 20th, I want all the enemy logic implemented. So I plan on having probably three different types of enemies in this vertical slice. Again, uh, for people who haven't watched other videos, the vertical slice is going to be basically you just locked into a room and you have to beat a bunch of enemies. It's like a proof of concept, like, yeah, the combat's fun, the movement's fun, all that stuff's fun. So I'm going to have three enemies. Even if I don't have the art assets for them, if they're just like squares that kind of walk around, I'm going to have like a big tanky brawler, kind of maybe a fast guy, a little slime guy that we already have, I don't know. So I need to design at least two more different types of enemies with different basic mechanics. And even if I have no visuals for them, I want the logic and how they work to be figured out by this time next week. Uh, by the 27th, next Saturday, I want all the visuals finished. So I want the characters to be animated. 
I want the UI to be done, which I've already drawn up some mockups for the UI, so I kind of have a general idea of how I want the UI to look. Um, and then menus. Menus are going to be fun. That's next week. Uh, that's going to be November 3rd, UI and menus completed. So that'll bring us into pretty much everything. The visuals, the logic, the UI and menus, the player features, that should be pretty much everything. Uh, the visuals also obviously include uh, the level design, which is just going to be like a background image and a couple platforms, probably. I'm not going to get too crazy into it because, again, I don't have time and I haven't really studied on level design, so I'd rather make some simple little arena that's fun to move around in with the mechanics than try my hand at making an actual level at this point. Uh, from the November 3rd to the November 7th, it's just going to be bug testing. I'm just going to be playing the fuck out of it, make sure there's no glaring game-breaking bugs. I'm sure it will release with bugs of some sort. Um, I'll probably be letting patrons... Uh, play this game starting next week just to get more feedback and see if there's any more bugs I can find earlier before then uh, and then on the 8th it's gonna go up it's gonna go up probably on itch I've never used it before so I'm gonna have to figure out how that works but that that's the plan that's the loadout that's the lay the low down the layout for how this is gonna work uh, I'm gonna be super fucking busy for those next couple weeks because it's very very tight schedule after that though i will start working on a full game with levels and stuff like that and more features um in addition to doing things like motion comics and like just like more like uh animation sort of things because again azumi is supposed to be more than just a game character but uh this is one of the this is one thing i wanted to get done before i turn 30 so that's kind of what i'm focusing on right now but games will be a smaller part of the bigger picture of azumi as a brand and just kind of the media I make surrounding her. So that's where we're at. Uh, week one is locked in pretty much. So from now until next week, it's just gonna be designing enemies and making sure they're fun to fight. So I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.